Here are three earring designs done from copper scrap. The leaf pair on the left, now these are based on one of my earlier YouTube videos. I got the idea for the sailboats from a piece of copper that was on my welding table. For the earrings on the right, I was interested in just how small a pair of earrings I could do. Now these did give me some problems, as I'm not used to working with anything quite this small. Shown here are the three sets of shapes. As you can see on the left with the leaf, I nipped off the top and the bottom points and then rounded them off. Using the spring-loaded center punch, drilling the holes for the ear loops with a 1 16th inch drill bit, annealing the copper blanks. Shaping with small earrings. You've got to admit, this is pretty primitive. Just this piece of pine been gouged out. I've made myself a smaller ball peen hammer. And next week I'll be showing you how you can make some small ball peen hammers. Forming the copper like this gives its shape so much more interesting than just a flat piece of copper. This piece of scrap copper shows where I got the idea for the sailboats. I like sailboats and I like to sail. So this design was just a natural for me. And I like this clean, simple look has a flow to it and with forming the copper it's almost like the sails are filling with air and the boat is moving ahead This is the leaf design, which is based on my YouTube video, Copper Leaves. Using the mason's chisel, then scoring a line from the top to the bottom so that there's equal material on the right and on the left. By the way, this is a good use for this rubberized mesh. And I use it for lining kitchen shelves. But using it here, it saves chasing the block of wood around the table. Gently, using a pair of pliers, closing the leaf. And the key word here is gently. Once I have it pretty much closed, I can go ahead and finish it off with the flat end of the hammer.
It's time to anneal once more. Using my chisel hammer, I'll begin to vein the leaf. My YouTube video, Copper Leaves, goes into this in much more detail. So if you like this effect, you'll want to check that YouTube video out. I'm not a jeweler, and I don't wear earrings. But I can't help but being impressed with what one can do with a few pieces of scrap copper a few tools, and a little time.